Hello guys! In this video we will add maintain React components library to our project. The GitHub code for this video is in the description. It has begin branch if you want to follow along and end branch the final result. You can access maintain's documentation at maintain.dev and maintain is a fully featured React components library. It is TypeScript base and it's free and open source. Let's click Get Started. It gives you a guide how to use Maintain with different frameworks. We can either use Vite or create React app. Let's click on Vite and we need to install the following dependencies Maintain Core, Maintain Hooks, and Emotion React. And the reason we need Emotion React is that Maintain uses Emotion library designed for writing CSS styles with JavaScript. We will also need to wire up Maintain Provider. Here we are in Visual Studio Code and we will use the following command to install the packages. It's going to be a pnpm since we use pnpm package manager and again we're going to be using filter frontend. After the packages are installed we will add maintain provider to main.tsx file. Just go to frontend, src, and then main.tsx. And let's import maintain provider. Let's go back to maintain documentation. I suggest reading learn the basics section. It will tell you about theming, writing styles, components props, and some other stuff. Maintain core section has um, small maintain components such as container, button, input, breadcrumbs, and etc. And then maintain UI has the UI built from those components. If we scroll down, we can see error pages. That happens that our application has a 404 page, not found. So let's uh, take this code and uh, put it in the application. What we're going to be doing here, we're going to be just copying this code and then putting it in the corresponding page component in our application. Let's go to components and to not found component and right here in a TSX we can paste the code that we copied. I also prefer to have styles in a separate file so we can copy this use, use styles and take it out of the component and we can create a new file in a not found component folder and we call it use styles.ts and now we can paste the code in here we need to import create styles from maintain core and we also need to export use styles component. Now let's import use styles in not found the TSX. And then we can remove create styles from here. And we can rename our component slightly to not found and save it. Let's go ahead and run pnpm dev and see what we got. Let's go to uh, localhost 3001 and we can see an error right away. Ambiguous import default Let's switch back to the VS Code and we can notice that we're not exporting default function. 
or just exporting function not found. Let's fix it. Now let's refresh the page and the error goes away and let's check a not found page. And the not found page gives us the UI component from Mentin. So and then it, we can go take me back to the home page. However, this one doesn't work yet. So let's go and make changes to the code so we can go back to index page. In the code, on the button, we need to add a on click and have a function go back home. Let's go ahead and create this function. So in order to programmatically navigate back to our index page or any other page, we need to use use navigate hook from React Router DOM. Let's make changes and see if our navigation back to index page is working now. Let's try again and we can go back to index page. Uh, let's cancel out of the dev server and we're going to work on index page and also dashboard page. For the index page, we're going to be using a different UI component. It will be uh, in the feature section and we are going to use the following component. Again, we're going to be copying code and refactoring a little bit. First of all, let's delete the CSS files that we have before. from before. Uh, it will be index.css and there will be uh, landing.css. Since we have the icons on the UI, we also need to install uh, tabler icons, uh, pnpm. Add tabler icons again, filter front end. Let's create a uh, use styles in the landing folder. Those are refactored styles from what we copied from the website, and then in a Lending the TSX page itself, we're going to post the following code, the one that we took from the website. Also, let's import as React from React and save our changes. The next thing will be to use app shell for the dashboard. To find app shell, we're going to go to core components and we can find app shell right over here. So we can technically use the regular app shell and we can copy the code, but I already refactored it a little bit, so bear with me for a minute. First of all, we're going to be creating header content component that we will be using in the app shell. So let's go ahead and components, create a new folder, header content, and in this folder again we're going to create index.tsx file where we put the following code, and then we'll need a new file that's called header content.tsx and in this file we'll put the following code. As you can see, we are using maintain UI components such as group, flex, text and a button, and flex is really our flex container, text is kind of obvious, and then group, uh, it will be a message text and the button logout and flex gonna have space between. So on the left side, we're gonna have application header text, and then the right side will be a button with a text, welcome Alex. Now we are ready to update the dashboard component and paste the following code. And just click save. 
and as you can see we are importing obviously the components from main team and also right here we are importing the header com content component where we're gonna put it right over here so we have a custom header okay let's uh, run the application and see what we have all right let's go back to localhost 3001 and we can see index page when we click go to dashboard we can see the app shell where we have an application header we have a welcome alex and we have a logout button right here and as we did before if we go to not found page we're gonna get 404 not found from here the user can click take me back to home page and go back to index page uh, this is how you use main team core library in your project thank you for watching and i will see you next time